What's going on guys, Dane here and welcome to Gem X. This is a brand new power fantasy MMO that just dropped on the marketplace. It's a loot fest, it's a, it's a power trip, man. You have never felt this strong in a mobile game, uh, especially you free to play players. Free to play players. Uh, if you're looking for an MMO that is free to play, get this game. That, that's my biggest stamp of approval if you want something fast paced. And the, I mean, there's, there's a lot to love about this game. What this game really is in my opinion, is a collection of everything that's fun about MMOs with none of the downside. I have not found any of the slog, any of the the droll, any of the tropes that I just don't enjoy, none of the schemey monetization, none of that. This game has put a smile on my face the entire time I've been playing it. Now, that is my first stamp of approval. There's going to be many more throughout this video. I'm going to try and cover everything that this game is doing right, although there's a lot going on. It's very deep, uh, which is exactly what you want. If you want a main game, this one's got you covered, and there's a lot of ways to play. Now, I do have a guild, and I'm just going to say this right at the beginning of the video. If you want in on the guild, <clears throat> Lucid Fate, I just made it just now. Uh, I mean, just come on in. Uh, tell me you came from YouTube. There are 40 spots. I would love to have you, especially if you're just starting out the game. You level 1 players. Jump on in. We're, let's talk. Let's let's be good friends. I'm, I, it's a social game at the end of the day, and I would love to connect with you guys that way. Uh, In-game guilds are my favorite way to talk to my community, uh, hands down. But anyways, what's going on in this game? Well, you have a character as in any MMO. Uh, you can dress them up. There are a ton of different ways to dress up. Uh, there, there's costumes for days. My dude's rocking a little shark head. A little sailor outfit. Uh, he's got the red wings. Uh, maybe I should be careful how I say that. Um, and what am I going to talk about this loot? Look at this loot. I've been playing for like an hour and a half. I've got two red, uh, whatever this rarity is, the rarest <laughs> uh, weapons in the game. I've got two gold uh, 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 pieces of armor. It's insane. Like, it just throws gear at you. And you don't have to spend money. How sick is that? There's different weapons. You can actually choose a different class when you start the game. There's three classes currently. There's a fourth class coming. I don't know what the class is going to be. If you want to be uh, this guy, you can be. If you want to be a uh, if you want to be a, a lolly with a big old machine gun, you can be. It, it just uh, comes down to whatever you're into, and you can dress them up any way you want to. Big fan of that. Customization is huge in an MMO. Now there's curios here. It's a little trinket that'll follow follow you around you can upgrade it and it, and one thing that's dope about upgrading in this game you'll notice it uses these little materials all these materials are exclusive to whatever you're upgrading so you never have too good to use syndrome you can use them and not have to worry about missing out on another area of the game it goes that way with a lot of things a lot of the gotchas every single gotcha that i've seen has a different ticket type so you never have to worry about summoning over gear, over anything like that. You can have it all. And that is exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, no too good to use syndrome in this game. Big fan. But whoa, we, got a, we got a lot to talk about though, don't we? So let's, uh, let's just jump into some combat. Let's jump into some combat. Let's do a boss and just show off what that kind of looks like. And uh, honestly, let's just ju dive right in. I have no idea if we can even do it. Uh, but I mean, this is just the perfect way to jump into a... A uh, little bit of combat. There's mounts in the game. This is who I'm rocking. On day two, you unlock a new mount. Uh, the new mount looks so cool. He's like a giant rabbit with a backpack, and I think he'd get in his backpack. I'm not sure, but that would be sick. So, it is auto path and auto grind for me. However, when you start the game, it gives you the option to either play manually or play auto, and you pick one or the other. If you want a manual MMO, you can play it that way and it will cater that entire gameplay experience around that if you want to play an auto battle auto path uh mmo you can do it that way but i'm telling you no matter which way you play it there is so much content in this game that you will not be bored even if you are on auto you are going to be spending so much time upgrading and going through menus and changing up your look and getting free 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 non-stop that it's ne it never, it never, like, it feels so active, even though I'm not actually, like, I'm not clicking the buttons to do the skills and stuff, but I have never felt like I'm just not playing a game. I, 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 had to, I had to let that resonate for a second. It never felt like I stopped playing a game. That is huge, and that is uh, just one of the many things that other MMOs on the mobile marketplace need to look at. Stop monetizing and start making games. Now, this game does monetize. I, I should get that out of the way. But I've spent $3.50 in this game. $3.50 uh, 
uh, U.S. dollars. Uh, what did I get? Well, I got for two fifty. I got some. I got four hundred premium gems, and if I don't like what I got with them, I can refund it and get my money back. Yeah, you a, a risk free first purchase. Risk free. You can refund it without talking to customer service. Uh, that's insane. And I spent one dollar for another bonus that gave me some insane stuff. I mean, whatever. And I'm that's. I mean, that I haven't felt like I needed to spend anything. But when I'm playing a game that makes me feel like I don't need to spend a dollar to have fun, that's when I'll spend some money because they earned it. They deserved the money and I'm going to support them. If I'm playing a game where I hit a wall in the first five minutes and it pops up a shop in my face and it's like, well, if you spend money, you can keep playing, I uninstall. And that's how everyone should be. We, we shouldn't be sitting down taking cash grab games that are just have no quality behind them. You know what I mean? Look at that. I just got two crazy pieces of gear out of that boss. And that is about as good as it gets. Now, we're going to go ahead and jump into a... How do I get out of here? That's the big question. Okay, actually, you can just open up the entire menu from here. We're in the open world. We're not even in a... <laughs> That's sick. We're in the open world just killing a boss somewhere. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out what else there's going on. There's uh, these dungeons here. You can do solo dungeons if you want to. Uh, you got partner dungeons and all that. I mean, it's a dungeon. Uh, this is like a... You go from node to node to node uh taking on people i mean maybe i'd show it off but i don't have any chances left because i've been doing it because it's fun but it's basically like a walk around and clear out like a dynamic dungeon and new ones unlock all the time there, there's quite a few of them and they're pretty big and they uh, give you great rewards you can do them every single day big fan of that there's the bead dungeon you get uh these are beads are in the game you can put them on your equipment to upgrade them uh, you can put them on yourself basically to upgrade them they're like extra equipment they're just passive buffs and you can get them from here. It's kind of like an endless tower, but you go up as high as you can. And once you get to a place where you can't beat another floor, you just purge and it auto collects whatever, uh, whatever reward you want from the last floor. A uh, big fan of that. So you go as high as you can manually and then you purge from there on and you never have to worry about doing it all the time. I'm such a big fan of that. It gives me a nice blend of endless tower reward and you really feel like you earned something and you can just go get on and you can just auto purge and you get your uh you get your rewards for clearing that floor that is big now there's xp dungeons and there's gear dungeons as well these are team dungeons i'm going to show what this is so we're going to go into the xp dungeon because i think this is just disgusting uh actually no i'm not i'm not and here's why it's a 10 minute run and that would make the video way too long i just thought about that both of these are 10 minute runs but in XP Dungeon, I was level 147. I came out level 168 after one XP Dungeon. It launched me up over 20 levels doing it one time. That's insane. It is so worth your time. I'm doing it every single day. Uh, you jump in. You uh, you get matched up with three random people. You can match up or uh, two random other people. You uh, can pick your guildmates, you can pick friends, or you can just wait for the matchmaking to do its thing. The game is insanely active. You're not going to be waiting long either way. Big fan of that. Big fan of the content that's going on in this game. What else is going on in this game? Let's go ahead and take a look at Warzone. There's PvP. And we're going to dive in and take a look at anyone that has anything to do with our uh, CP. So we're at 25,000 C or 258,000 CP. Is anyone beatable this guy's beatable should we take him on she's beatable let's do this one let's do this one unable to enter the scene why give me players currently what players currently operating too much please try again can i play okay well something is going on here something is amiss that i don't understand i clearly cannot play pvp is it because i'm here <gasps> i'm fighting right now oh so guys you can't do pvp while you're fighting <laughs> that's so funny that's hilarious anyways uh well we're just gonna we're gonna go ahead and get the heck out of dodge uh let's go let's go back to the main town and then jump into pvp that is hilarious i'm sitting here like well the game's bugged unable to teleport okay we got to kill this man apparently this is what i get so yes confirm leave dungeon okay you can just walk away from it sick sick okay now we know the more you know the better now let's jump into Warzone and check out this pvp uh, ooh, advanced beads, huh? Just extra beads. Look at all this. These are, I mean, you can click on them and you can see what they do. They give you, like, this one right here will give me, uh, what the heck will it do? 
We'll find out. We'll find out. Okay, we'll just look in the inventory and find out. Let's jump into this fight. And uh, this is what PvP is. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. It's like a, it's just a clash. Like it's your character versus their character, and that is sick. And we're gonna destroy this guy. It is what it is. I just wanted to show off that there is PvP. It's a one-on-one -on -one fight, and you get. I mean, you get massive rewards for each fight. It really wants you to feel rewarded for your time, and that it. Uh, that is. I'm gushing, I'm gushing, but what else is going on? Well, there's a trading house. You can go in here. There's an auction going on. There's a guild auction. There's a world auction, and there's a CX auction. They are open at random times. There is a trading market going on. You can actually pick up wings if you want to. There is launch items going on. There is, I mean, like, this is this is the free-to-play shop, the world shop, and you want a marketplace in your MMO. It really brings a sense of, like, people are getting this stuff, and they're making a profit off of the stuff they don't need. And you can make a profit off of the stuff that you don't need. Now, what else is going on? Well, we have, uh, we got the beads going on here. And this is where you put them in. Uh, I have this attack type bead right here. I can go ahead and replace it if I want to. This will give me evasion up. And you can level it up with gold or, uh, whatever these are. What are, what are these? I, I don't know what those are. But it's a specific currency for leveling up your beads. Big fan of it. Uh, uh you can dismantle beads and you can get the, uh, you can get the, all oh, bead XP. That's what it's called. You can dismantle beads for it and you can use that to level up your unit or your, uh, beads. And I'm a big fan of that. We can just go ahead and do that. Suddenly we can level up a couple of times and we didn't spend any money to do it. Out of nowhere, we just have a level five bead. Uh, you're gonna, you're gonna get a sense when you're playing this game that you're just never gonna stop making progress. You're never gonna stop making progress. Uh, the mounts are sick. There is, for some of you, there's a marriage system. I'm not sure how I feel about this. This is hilarious. There's a marriage system. Social hall, uh, uh, pledge of ring, couple dungeon. There's a couple dungeon. <laughs> There's a couple dungeon. Now, the only reason I'm a little iffy about this, I have a girlfriend, so I don't know what she's going to say if I marry someone in a game. She wouldn't be jealous, but like, wouldn't that be uh, bad taste? That'd be bad taste. What else is going on? What else is going on? Well, while you're not doing all that, and I'm telling you right now, you can go ahead and... Uh, go ahead and just auto path and the, the loading screens when you're traveling far you have a bit of a loading screen like that was the longest loading screen I've seen uh, like especially on average like that's the lotus, longest loading screen you're gonna get uh, but um, when you're go like that when it's a short term uh, jump it's fast when it's within the same map and you don't teleport you can ride your mount there you can hop on your mount anytime you want to and I mean, you can walk around anytime you want to, you know, it's sick. And I'm a big fan of that. I don't know what the heck that did, but I mean, look at this girl right here. This game screams fantasy. What it lacks in hyper realistic or like, you know, like just what you would expect out of like a high def uh, graphic fidelity, it makes up for an aesthetic in the biggest way. This game looks like the anime fantasy adventure I've been wanting, man. This game looks like an anime fantasy adventure now is it hd 2d art that's just overdone but there's no uh there's no uh there's no uh what are they called the uh, the triangles that it's made out of the uh the geometry there's no geometry involved so they can make it look as pretty as they want there's geometry involved in this a lot of geometry a lot of animations a lot of flash lower the graph the graphic fidelity a little bit so it actually runs on most people's phones and make the aesthetic so good that it just it overshadows everything and i'm a big fan of how they went the music is spot on uh the music's phenomenal the there is english voice acting they don't read every single thing that they say in the story and honestly it's been happening so fast like i started this game and i felt like i was in a tidal wave of content uh so like i mean i don't, I don't know i don't know like it it, it is frantic and that's the best way. Auto pick up all that good stuff. It, it the aesthetic, the music, uh, the it, it all overshadows everything. The the story, I'm sure it's passable. I have no idea. Oh, we can switch now. What is this? Who is this? Bloodlust swordsman. What does that mean? Excuse me. What just happened? What just happened? I don't understand. <laughs> um. Anyways, we we did something. We did something. Um. Uh, I don't know what Switch is, but we'll find out, and I'll cover that in a later video. I will definitely be continuing to play this game. Uh, there is an expedition mode. You can go ahead and set out your people, uh, your units, and you can, uh, you can get estimated gain. You can click down here, and it'll show you what you're expected to get. You actually get insane stuff. I mean, you can get lower, I, I think you get all of this, but yeah, you get, you get some crazy stuff. You get, uh, you get helper 
tickets, you get crazy gear, you get uh, gift boxes, chests, all kind of growth pack. Ooh, yeah, you get some crazy stuff. It takes a long time to work, but once it does work, you get a lot of bang for your buck. Uh, I mean, there's quests, there's boss hunt, bee dungeon. The bee dungeon's pretty sick. We talked about that. Airship escort. What is airship escort? Should we check out what airship escort is real quick? I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out in a later video. Uh, I don't want. I don't want to overbear you guys with information. I just want to give you guys the basic rundown of what's going on. Achievements, just like any solid MMO, uh, just like Devil Book, do give you permanent stat buffs on top of the rewards you get. So I have the uh, the permanent HP restore every five percent every ten seconds. Disgusting. Uh, this will eventually give you character XP increase. Stuff like that, ignore defense, all that good stuff. Uh, permanent spe specified stat bonuses based on what achievements you're getting, not just general stat bonuses for all the achievements. Big fan of that. And I mean, ah, God, what else is there to say? There's so many different kinds of dungeons, and you're going to be doing them every day. There's so many, the, the PvP is sick. The auto path, the auto grind, the loot fest, the dungeons, and I mean, everything about this game give it a try guys um i hope i did it justice i'm gonna be bringing it back tomorrow i mean you know if you enjoy this kind of game right you know if you enjoy this kind of game i will say my final thoughts on this if you enjoy this kind of game take this from take this from me if you enjoy this kind of game but you want something that is a game play this play this give it a shot you're going to see what I'm talking about right off the bat. You're going to have a great time with it. You're never you're never going to be bored, man. Uh this is a main game. This is a this ain't a side idle game at all. This is a main game and I think it uh I think it plays perfect for that. Anyways, guys, that is all I have for you in this one. <laughs> I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Hopefully you enjoy Let me know what you guys think about this game. Am I gushing too much? I don't think I am, man. I don't think I am. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.